In this video, we're testing out Higgsfield AI's viral video effects. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas and I make videos about AI and product photography. Now, recently on Instagram, I saw a post by Mason Indulgence, I believe is the original account, and it got 2.9 million views. And it was this cool bullet time effect of an ice cream ball falling into a cup of coffee. And immediately when I saw this, I thought that I had to figure out how they made this and test it out for myself. So it turns out this effect was made using a website called Higgsfield AI. Now, on Higgsfield's website, they have these preset effects that you can choose from, and we're gonna test out some of them later in the video, but for this specific effect, we're gonna use the bullet time preset. Now, to replicate the effect from the viral coffee video, we're gonna have to film something quite similar of us dropping something into a drink and creating a big splash. So for this, I just grabbed a Coke from the fridge along with a glass and an ice cube. Now, after that, we have our clip. We're gonna just open it up in our video editor. I use Final Cut Pro, but you can do this in any editing software you like. And then we're simply gonna scroll on the timeline to a frame where we want to freeze the action. We're gonna export a screenshot of this frame that's then gonna be used in Higgsfield for the bullet time effect. Now, over on Higgsfield's website, we're gonna click Create and then Video which is gonna open up this dashboard. Here we're gonna upload the screenshot and choose the bullet time effect. Now for the prompt, I asked ChatGPT for some inspiration. On Higgsfield's website, they also have this enhance mode on off toggle for the prompt itself. And if you have the enhance mode on, Higgsfield is going to modify your prompt and try to give you better results for the effect that you're going for. At this point, I realized that if you're on the free version, I think you get like two free video generations and the generation time is very slow. I think the first uh, estimate it gave me was something like 47 minutes for one generation. So I was not gonna wait 47 minutes for my one video to generate, so I upgraded to the pro plan, which is $29 a month but you can also go for the basic plan, which is $9 a month. After waiting a couple of minutes, the video was generated and this is the first result it gave me for the bullet time effect. Now to complete the viral effect, we're gonna bring this clip back into our video editor and place it at the cut point we made earlier. And now the real video flows perfectly into the bullet time effect. To finalize the effect, we're gonna duplicate the bullet time clip and reverse it. This way we're gonna create a boomerang where the video returns to the same frame we stopped at before, which means that the rest of our video continues from the right spot and we have just created a cool bullet time effect. Now after adding some sound effects, speed ramps and a slight zoom here and there, this is the final result. I tested out some other stuff as well on Higgsfield and I think they have really some cool stuff that you can play around with, especially for product photography. This garden bloom effect, for example, turned out really well for this beauty product. And if you have the pro plan that costs $29 a month, you can set both the start and end frame of the video, which enables you to create videos where your products morph into one another using the morph skin effect available in the presets. There's also a bunch of camera movements and I tested out, for example, this robo arm effect where it looks like a high-end commercial where the camera would be attached to a robotic arm moving around the subject quickly. Now it's not perfect every time but let me know if you want me to do a deep dive into the best effects specifically for product photography on Higgsfield. But that's it for this one. Let me know if there's any other tools you want me to check out but otherwise I'll see you in the next one.